Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are finally doing a jewelry collection video. I know you guys have been requesting to see what is in my collection and I'm ready to show you guys what I have been collecting over the past few years, what I love and some of my favorite pieces. And yes, I do have a few regrets that I wanna share with you guys just in case you guys are in the market for some of these pieces. So let's get started with what I am wearing. I'm gonna start off with my hands. I have my engagement ring, of course, on my left hand. Um, this engagement ring was actually upgraded from my previous one um, four years ago when we went to New York. And I absolutely fell in love with the oval shape and we decided then and there to upgrade my previous um, engagement ring to this one. So I was very happy um, that day. Let me show you my um, first engagement ring here that I got. I still have it. I'm never gonna let this one go because you know it's sentimental. So this is my first engagement ring from hubby right here and um, I have my engagement ring currently paired up with the love ring. This is in the size 56 and this is one of my regrets getting the wrong size. This is quite loose on my finger. Um, I could even fit it into my middle and my index finger. So, um, and the same thing with my love ring on this hand here. This one is actually heavier and thicker in terms of metal. They are all set in 18 karat gold. This one has the diamond in the middle. This size is actually a 58, so it's two sizes different. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. I just figured that, you know what, I might swell up and that was one of my worries back then when I was in the store trying to decide what size I should get and I kind of wish I listened to myself instead of people who were around me, like the essay that was helping me. She was genuine, don't get me wrong, she was just kind of reminding me that, you know, these are not sizable and you have to choose the right size. So with that, I was like, okay, so maybe I should get a bigger size just in case uh, my fingers get bigger or something like that, you know? So that was silly and I still love these pieces. I just wish I got a smaller size that would fit me a little bit better. So this is, again, really loose on my fingers. If I did this really fast, it would definitely fall out. So I'm really cautious when I wear these pieces and that is a bad thing. You wanna make sure it fits you perfectly and snug, um, not to the point where it's uncomfortable or anything, but just just to have that security. You don't wanna to have to be worrying about, you know, what if it falls off, you know, all the time. And that's what I worry about. So that is definitely my regrets of getting the wrong sizes. And I also have my Justin Clue diamond ring here. And yep, it is too big for my fingers. Let me see if I can see the size. So this is in a size 57. So I do have to wear it with my love ring all the time just because it's quite loose on its own. Um, so yeah, I do pair that up together. And then I also have another just include in the 18 karat gold as well. This one here is in the size 55 and it does feel a lot better compared to all these three rings here. Um, before I went with this size, I actually went back to the store telling my assay that it was a little too big for my fingers. And honestly, I should have exchanged it for a smaller size because she was saying, if you go smaller, it will make an indent in your fingers. Um, so that's why I kept the size that I ordered. And after wearing it for a while, it still made that indent that she was talking about with the size. So I think regardless of the size, it would still make a slight indent um, because the nail head itself is bigger than the ring itself. So um, depending on your comfort level, I don't mind that indent because it feels more secure in my hands. So that is what I currently have on my hands. Um, as for my bracelet, this one here is from Hermes. I just recently got this one and I have been loving it. This is in the rose gold 18 karat with the pave diamond around the chain here. 
super comfortable, no complaints, no regrets whatsoever about this piece right here. It's dainty, it's light versus the Cartier Love Bracelet here that I have on all the time. One of my favorite pieces to wear and own. Um, I have the four diamond around the bangle and the only regret is the size. Again, I did try the bigger size it was slightly too big like it went all the way over here and that and then i kind of knew it was too big um this is in the size 17. right now it fits me good when it's on my wrist but when it goes back i kind of feel it a little bit tight um so i don't know what to do in that sense because you know the size i think it's good but sometimes i feel a little bit tight especially when i pair it up with my other bangles or bracelets so i normally keep this on all the time never really take it off and it has been really good i've had it for two years now and yeah i love one of my favorite pieces now let's talk about my necklaces here these are all from idol you guys idol has become one of my favorite jewelry brands out there not only because of their modular design you're getting sustainable lab grown diamonds solid 14 karat gold in all of their pieces it's all in-house handmade so you're definitely getting that quality control i especially love this piece right here this lena necklace it's one of my favorite. It goes with everything I wear. It's also stackable with other idol pieces as well. It has five beautiful round diamonds and all of their diamonds are graded from a D to G with a clarity of VS and excellent cut. So you're definitely getting the best of the best. And um, this one here is a brand new piece that I just got. This is called the Jane. And with this one, it also has three beautiful round diamonds, small, medium, and big. And with their modular design, you can actually wear this on the opposite direction of what I have on right now. You can definitely change it up. On my ears, I have the beautiful Ono right here paired with my stud. So the earrings are a lot of fun, you guys. With just one stud alone, you can create so many different looks. I've worn the stud on its own all the time. And when I like to change things up, I put on the add-ons. This is another add-on, the Ono. It has beautiful round diamonds. How pretty is this? It's so, so sparkly. And you can wear it two ways. So I have this one on backwards and this one in the front. So yeah, you can definitely switch it up, like I said. So this one is in the front, this one is in the back, and it definitely gives you a different look, right? So this is beautiful and elegant. This is more edgy, I would say. And above it, I am wearing the power ear cuff here. It has 22 diamonds. Um, all of these are set in 14 solid gold, and it just definitely adds that extra sparkle to my ears because I only have that one piercing. So for those who don't have that extra piercing, the ear cuffs are definitely a great choice. Um, some of my idol pieces that I also love is this beautiful necklace as well. So I believe this one is called the Aiden. I'm not 100% sure, but I will definitely leave the links down below. And you can still use my coupon code JustSissy10. You get 10% off your entire purchase. And with every purchase, depending on the amount, you do get a luxury gift as well. Who doesn't love a gift, right? So that is one of the bonuses from Idol. Let me show you some of my other pieces. This one in particular is called the Eden right here. This turns into a pendant and an earring. So definitely fun to kind of play around with. I would recommend this beautiful necklace. It's one of their top sellers and you can definitely see why it's beautiful, it's elegant. So this is my ultimate favorite pieces out of their collection. The other piece that I would recommend is getting their beautiful diamond stud. Honestly, you can never go wrong with just a classic piece like that. Their diamonds come in three different sizes small, medium, and big. I'm actually wearing the biggest one they have. And you can also add their beautiful attachment that I've just shown you onto the stud. They make it so easy to just change up your look. And I think it's just one of the best feature that they have created. And that is one of the reason why Idol has become one of my favorite jewelries. And now I'm gonna shine the camera onto my jewelry box 
where I have the rest to show you. Um, some of them I already pulled out just to show you guys, uh, especially the idol pieces and um, my rings and stuff like that. The rest of my favorite jewelry is in this box right here. So starting from the middle, I have this adorable bean pendant, which is set in 14 karat yellow gold. You might have noticed that most of my jewelry, like 80% of it, are in yellow gold. I just prefer yellow gold over white or rose gold. It just complements my skin tone a lot better so that's why I normally tend to gravitate to yellow gold. And I normally pair this necklace with this other Tiffany necklace that I often wore. Um, these two haven't been worn recently just because I have a lot of more options um, but they are one of my favorites so no regrets. The only thing that I kind of wish Tiffany did was add an extra length to the necklace itself because it's fairly short and you're not actually able to adjust the length so this is just one length for both necklaces actually so um, over to my left here I have some wedding bands that I've um, collected over the years. I love to switch my bands out. This is just a pave diamond and these ones are set in white gold um, and then I have another band here which is also in white gold which is kind of fun to wear it together like so. And these two are just simple yellow gold plain wedding bands that I sometimes wear in between my engagement ring or just by itself as well. So on the top I have my Van Cleef bracelet which is the vintage alhambra bracelet i adore this one a lot i love it and i'm so glad i got this one versus the mother of pearl or the other gemstone because honestly solid gold is a lot easier to take care of versus a gem and with this bracelet it's the most comfortable bracelet i have um, in terms of wear and tear that it's pretty good because I've worn it consistently um, for a good few months and honestly it still shine like the first day I got it you can kind of see slight scratch mark very faint though because of the way the motif is designed and cut so see look at that sparkle right there my essay was actually telling me that it takes a long time for them to create this effect on the motif so i'm so glad i went with this one no regrets with this and the other piece that i love is this kelly bracelet from hermes this is also set in 18 karat gold um, with diamonds around the buckle here and I just love the look of it as well. I think I prefer these kind of chain versus a solid bangle. Um, as you can see, this made an indent regardless of the size like I talked about. It also has diamond at the bottom as well. And I just love the Kelly buckle itself. That is that. So now I'm going to show you guys what's left in this box right here. I'm going to take the first tray out. So in here I have these adorable Louis Vuitton dropped earrings. These are one of my favorites. I have no regrets and I would actually get the diamond version because they came out with a new one I believe this year or late last year with all diamonds around the um, monogram part right here. Um, I kind of wish I got those version versus these but these are really cute and simple. I used to wear them all the time and I still love them. Um, it has the diamond stud at the top and um, it's also set in 18 karat gold. And the other earrings that I used to wear all the time are these cute little LV um, stud with diamonds at the bottom there. Um, I also have the entire set. I have the bracelet and the necklace as well which i'm going to show you right now since we are on the subject they are identical the only difference is just the length is the necklace they do have adjustable loops so that way you can adjust the length of your necklace and also with the bracelet as well so that is that right here very simple and dainty with just a little lv logo there and this necklace here is the matching necklace to the earrings that i just showed you I actually do really like to match the set. I didn't buy them all at once, so I did slowly bought them at separate times. Now this necklace here is one that I kind of regret. So this is very beautiful. Um, I regret getting it because I don't wear it as often as I should. I think I've only worn it once and that was a very special occasion, but it's not like an everyday piece. This is more of a statement piece and for me, I think 
when you're spending a lot of money on something like this, you really want to wear it as often as you can or switch it up as often as you can. Um, even though it's a beautiful piece, I think I can definitely live without. Um, the design of it is gorgeous. It has three different gold. It has yellow gold, rose gold, and white gold. All the three elements combined and it even has diamonds around the pendant and diamonds around here. And you also get that three monogram shapes together all in one. I just don't find myself reaching for it and wanting to wear it as often as I should. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. It's very beautiful. Um, I still like it, but do I still love it the first time I saw it? Uh, I'm going to be honest and say no. So that is one of my regrets. So the next piece is the Van Cleef Alhambra Mother of Pearl um, necklace here. It's beautiful. Very, very beautiful. I love this necklace. And it also has the adjustable length, which is a great option as well to have it shorter or longer. My other earrings that I have to show you is this Hermes in rose gold with diamonds around it. I love this one. No regrets whatsoever after getting these. Honestly, Hermes pieces have been a hit and I just love these. I've worn these so much and continue to wear it as well. Hermes rose gold is actually not that pink. Um, sometimes rose gold is very pink and this comes off as really a light yellow gold to me. That's why I bought rose gold because normally I would prefer yellow. I love these. Um, so next, so this necklace here is part of Louis Vuitton's Bee Blossom collection and it is one of my favorites. I actually got this on my birthday last year and the pendant itself is covered in diamonds and it's actually really really heavy um, solid gold in the back here in the length of this necklace i actually got it extended because you know when you're spending this kind of money you want to make sure that you are able to adjust the length however you like so this entire piece here was added on complimentary um, the original length was probably a 16 inch so about there and the additional length that I added was this much. And my last necklace from Louis Vuitton is this white agate pendant, also set in diamonds in the middle there. And I also love this one. The only thing is the ball does flip around quite a bit. So when you're wearing it, sometimes you're actually wearing it backwards. I kind of wish that it stayed put when you have it on but it is beautiful and I still love it. So no regrets with that one here at all. And again, the length I also added because I like that option. Last but not least for my fine jewelry, I have these two beautiful bracelet, one which is the Justin Clue Cartier bracelet, which I love and wear often. This is in the size 16. They do recommend going down a size from your love bracelet if you were to stack it. I find it very comfortable and it moves up and down freely without, you know, being it uncomfortable. And sometimes I do get that mark from the nail head and that's very common regardless of the size that you get. So this I love together. And my last bracelet is this Louis Vuitton bangles here which is quite flexible, so it's not fully solid. I think the middle part is hollow and it, it has that one single diamond right here. And I also got this to match my necklace and my earrings. You just simply put it on like this and there you go. That's the bracelet itself. And lastly, I'm just gonna quickly show you guys my fashion jewelry from Chanel and Louis Vuitton and Hermes. Um, these are some of the pieces that I do sometimes switch up here and there. So top left, I have these LV hoops right here. I've worn these quite a bit and actually got dull from wearing it so often. It's not as shiny as it used to be. And I also have the um, matching necklace. I really like the design of it. The vines around the LV itself is something different and something that I don't have. And then down below, I have these cute little Chanel earrings as well. These are all costume jewelry, so I actually don't like to invest in a whole lot, but I do have a few. They do tarnish over time, and that's why I kind of stopped buying 
um, fashion pieces but they are really cute and these are Hermes H earrings they're very classic I love the pink in them and it's also in the rose gold as well not um, real gold but plated um, down here are the Chanel pearl earrings here I don't know why sometimes they give you this backing I mean for the amount of money you spend on Chanel costume jewelry they should at least give you a better like backing for it but these are their standard backings and I actually did switch out some of them for these pieces here I just find it more comfortable um, these are also in the pearl I love these ones these are one of my favorites to wear and down below I have this necklace here which came out a few seasons ago um, very light it um, tarnished a little bit but not too too much very comfortable to wear these two bracelets are actually, I don't know if you guys remember, I actually got this done in downtown with Emma. These are actually a forever bracelet which broke. Um, it broke when we went to Thailand. Hers is still in good condition, actually. Um, she got it repaired once. I think once I get mine fixed, we can both wear them again. And a random hairpin here from Chanel. Um, down here, I have the H-Click bracelet in the rose gold as well. This is quite big on me. And I got this at the airport when I went to Thailand. And last but not least, I have this H necklace from Hermes. It's their classic H necklace. This is the matching necklace to the earrings right over there. It's a light shade of pink and um, it's just a classic piece. I got this when I first started out um, buying jewelry from Hermes. So it's definitely a great starter piece. And that takes us to the very end of this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, find it informative somehow. And by all means, I'm not here to brag about what I have. It's for entertainment purposes and for those who were curious about my collection. And I love to share what I love with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.